Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a roadmap that you can follow to be able to make up to one million dollars with dropshipping in 2023 or even more. So it's more like a plan that is outline that you can follow step by step so there are going to be four stages that i'm going to be sharing with you guys on this video and each of those stages have different steps that you can follow so you don't want to skip around this video make sure you stick to the end of this video so that you don't miss out on any information that i'm going to be giving you inside of this video all right so i'm also going to be dropping the file that i'm using to share with you guys on this video in the description of this video and also in the comments so once this video gets up to 100 likes i'm going to drop this comment so guys show this video a love by giving it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel because i drop this kind of content every single day all right guys so without making so much ado i'm going to hop into my laptop right now and i'm going to share with you guys these four stages and the different step by step to make it big with dropshipping in 2023 and beyond. Right here inside my computer, so you can see I have this file. Your plan to make 1 million with Shopify dropshipping in 2023. So now the first stage actually is to find your winning product and for you to find your winning product, you also need to understand what a winning product is and what a winning product looks like. When you are trying to define what your winning product is, the step one is that you need to know that you have to sell a product around the next holiday season or an event. So, for example, we have Valentine's Day that is coming up next, as at the time I'm making this video. So, you need to make research about the product two to three months before the event date, which will actually give you a head start to prepare, to build your store and even to start running ads and then start selling so that before that date, you can actually deliver the product. So depending on the time you're watching this video, let's say for example, it is towards November or Halloween time or towards Black Friday or things like that. So you want to select products that can sell within those period of time okay and then the step two is to make sure that this product that you are selecting can also be sold after the event so you don't want to sell something that is just very peculiar to the holiday season for example if you're going to be selling something like teddy bear during valentine of course people love it and they are still going to use it they are still going to buy it regardless whether it is during Valentine or not. So those are the kind of product that we want to look at, okay? Now, step three is to make sure that Google Trends reflects your product name or niche before that event. For example, if I was to sell Teddy Bear and I come to Google Trends here and I search Teddy Bear, so my result shows that in the US, you have almost about 50,000 to 60,000 searches every single month looking for this keyword or looking to buy teddy bear. So I can see that somewhere around November, there was a hike, okay? Maybe leading to December when people wanted to buy teddy bear for Christmas gifts or, you know, to give to their loved ones. Now, I can also notice that now around january there is also beginning to uh, be a rise in interest you can see the curve is going up maybe because we are getting close to february so people are also looking for it so that they can gift it to their loved ones so you want to make sure that the product that you're going to be selling has this type of searches on google trends once we are done with stage one now the stage two is going to be the product research properly. So how are we now going to make the product research? So step one says you have to go to best.aliexpress.com to search for this type of product that you want to sell. Okay, so what I basically use Aliexpress for is to do my product research. All right, not really for dropshipping in the real sense of it. Okay, and then step two will be type in the niche 
For example, Valentine's Day or personalized jewelry or love, something that has to do with that particular niche or that period of time. So you can type it in the search. So when I come to AliExpress here and I type Valentine's Day, you can see um, I have some products here that shows up automatically. So basically, you can see this teddy bear seems to be one of the ranking products that you find with relation to teddy bear. Then you can see jewelries, clothings, and other gift items, okay? So that's how you want to research about this. So now step three says filter the search by best rated products. So when I come to AliExpress here, I'm going to select this, okay, that has best ratings. So when I select that, you can see it actually shows me the ones that has highest reviews and highest ratings so those are the ones that i really want to take into consideration now step four says search for the products that are coming up on tiktok so for example what was coming up on my product research is teddy bear so i'm going to come to tiktok here and i search for teddy bear so you can see i have this with 500,000 views 200,000 views 500,000 views and you can see a lot of views here so it means this kind of product this one has 1.5 million and this one right here has 27 million this one has 10.5 million and 1.3 million so it has this kind of viral effect so it means people love things that has to do with teddy bear so that gives us um, the notion that we can actually uh, do something with this product then step number five says make sure the product is getting a combined one to ten million views so you can see from our search here we have up to 10 million views there's some videos here that has up to 10 million views like this one right here has 10 million views this one has 27 million views and this other one too has 500,000 views and all these other ones so if you combine all of them you can see that it has more than 1 million views to 10 million views so that ticks the boss for this particular product here and then step number six says search for the products on amazon to make sure that the reviews are good and matches the ones you see on aliexpress so right here on amazon when i look at some of the reviews i find out on amazon with regards to teddy bear so i can see uh, this one says the little bear is perfect um, this one says my seven year old son wanted a hobo something to sleep and loves this teddy bear so people are really liking this and you can see this has over 13,000 ratings which is quite high and most of them are within the range of five stars so they really love um, people that buy this type of product they really love it and they really want it so that matches what we have on aliexpress also so right here on aliexpress you can check out some of the reviews of the product and you can see it matches with what we are seeing on amazon so you can see this one says very nice and that means a lot of persons who actually bought this type of product they are happy with it all right now the next stage in this process or in this roadmap is to decide if you're going to be using organic traffic routes or you're going to be using paid ads all right so let's assume that you're a beginner and you want to go with organic traffic routes so that means you don't have so much money to spend on ads so for that case what you're going to be doing is that so whatever product that you're going to be selecting as your winning product you want to make sure that it meets with this type of criteria the first one is it is a product that you can actually demonstrate with videos and you can show people or show your audience how the product works or how to use the product and then that product has to have this type of wow factor that kind of intrigues your audience or intrigues people that are watching and if you're going to be using organic method most likely you're going to be using tiktok and on tiktok the attention span of people are usually very small and then the next thing you also want to check out is if this product actually has some kind of message that is passing or what the audience can actually learn from it and then you want to sell a product that is within the range of 24 dollars to 40 dollars which 
someone can easily swipe their cards and buy even if it is an improper to buy in so without thinking so much about it so you don't want to sell high tickets maybe from $500 to $1,000 that may not actually work for this type of product now the steps is the first step is to try and find videos with 1 million views and more which we have actually found for our product for the teddy bear like I showed you on the TikTok then you want to make sure that the product is high quality and at least has up to 4.5 star reviews so right here you can see on Aliexpress the 5 star reviews are more you have like 79% also on Amazon the star review is like 89% for 5 stars so that ticks the box for this type of product so this type of product is what we can actually look into to drop ship then the next step is to search the product on tiktok and sort it by top okay so we've already searched the product on tiktok and then we select top here so you can see the top product here is this one this one this one all right so we're done with that step then the next step in this process is to order the product from Amazon and start making TikTok videos. So the reason why you want to order this product from Amazon is because ordering from Amazon can be very fast, although you might pay more, but you can actually get the product faster so you can start filming videos and start creating content with it. And then step five says make three to five videos per day for each of the product. So you want to make at least three videos to five videos every single day and post it on your TikTok account. And then step number six, you need to understand that going viral on TikTok can actually take weeks. It can also take even months. So what it just takes is for you to find that one video that can go viral. And once you get that one video that can go viral, it will increase the momentum of your account. And you can easily generate six figures from your TikTok account going the organic route. So, and what actually beats the algorithm is being consistent. So, especially if you're creating a new account, there is a new account um, advantage that you have as a TikToker. So, the first time you create your account, if you're consistent and you're always putting out content, at least three videos to five videos every day for at least 30 days or more, you're going to definitely, definitely see some traction on your account. But if you put out some content and then you relapse and then come back, it's going to be more difficult to actually build that account. So the secret there is to always put out content consistently every single day, at least three to five videos, especially if it is a new account. And then what you want to do also for step seven is to create at least two TikTok accounts or even more. But if you can handle two, that's fine. But if you have people who can help you to handle, maybe you have a team that can help you to handle up to five accounts, that would be much more better. Okay? Because whatever you do on account one, you can replicate it on account two, and that will even give you more exposure. Now, step eight says for this strategy to work, you need to have at least two Shopify accounts and have two different names for them. So one will be leading to one of the accounts. One of the TikTok accounts will be leading to one Shopify and then the other one to another Shopify so you can be able to track things, okay? And then step 9 says you have to post every day on both accounts. The more you post, the better. Of course, post a minimum of 3 videos every day like I have said before. If you can make it up to 5 videos, that would be perfect. And then step 10 says use 3 to 5 hashtags per video. And use that same hashtag that your competitors are using. So you want to search on TikTok and see what other content creators or what other dropshippers, the type of hashtag they are using to go viral. So you want to replicate that also in your own account and that would help your content to even go more viral. Step 11 says keep notice of what content works the best so you can post what works. So you need to keep track of your videos and find out the content that actually went viral or that actually worked. So once you find the angle that actually went viral or how you promoted the product that people liked more or people connected more with, you want to double down on that and create even more content around that type of content, okay? So you want to double down on what works and then what does not work, you want to discard that, okay? Step number 12 right here says don't give up. Of course, you don't have to give up. 
because it might take some time, it might take beyond what you think. Maybe you think it was going to um, go viral in the first month, maybe it did not go. Then you have to keep doing it. Maybe in the second month, that's when you might see your breakthrough, okay? Then step number 13 is to repurpose the content on Instagram Reels and also for YouTube Shorts. So you know the type of content you actually post on TikTok can be repurposed for Instagram Reels and also for YouTube Shorts because they are mobile type of videos, okay, with portrait style of making videos. So, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you change the thumbnail and the titles. So don't take the same thumbnail that you have on TikTok and put the same on YouTube Shorts or on Instagram Reels. So you want to change their title and change the thumbnail, but the content would still remain the same. And then step number 14 is that you want to use this as that strategy and test up to one to five products a month. So don't just test only one product, you can test at least up to five different products and see how each of them performs. Now let's move on to stage four of this process. So the stage four in this roadmap is to use paid ads. Like I told you in stage three, you can go the organic route, but for stage four, you can also Go the paid ads route. So with the paid ads route, you are going to get faster results, but you need some budget. So you're going to be spending some money to run ads. So the step number one here is to set up a TikTok ads account and make sure to link your TikTok pixel with your store, especially if you're going to be using Shopify. So you can just go on TikTok ads or just search on Google for TikTok ads and create a TikTok ads account, okay? It's pretty simple, just the same way you create Facebook ads account, Google ads account, and all of that. So if you want to learn how to do all of that, check out the video I made around my channel. You can see one of the videos I created showing you how to create TikTok ads account and how to set up everything. So you can just go and watch that video, all right? Now, step number two is that you want to use good TikTok creatives Okay, remember I said that the attention span of people on TikTok is usually very, very small. So you want to use something that can actually grab the attention. As they are scrolling through the platform, you want to use something that can get them hooked and want to watch whatever content that you put out there. Okay, now what makes a good TikTok creative? A good TikTok creative must, first of all, show off the product, especially in the first few seconds. All right. And then you also have to have a good audio. If you're going to be using voiceover, it has to be a very good audio. Or if you're going to be using a trending sound, use sound that is already trending on the platform. Okay. Then secondly, it has to have excellent lighting so that people can visibly see the product that they want to buy. The lighting will make the product to pop up much more better and people can appreciate it and appreciate the beauty of the product. Okay. Then you also want to display the offer that you have for your customers. For example, if you're going to be selling a bundle for them at a discounted price, or you're going to say, okay, buy this bundle and get one for free, or if you're going to be offering free shipping, you also want to make that spelled out um, visibly on your ad creative, okay? And then you also want to add some urgency to it so that they can buy within a limited period of time or a limited number that is available. So that will also make them to want to buy quickly, okay? And then you also want to show what the product does and how the product is being used. So that is why I said you need to order the product from Amazon, use the product yourself, make videos around it, show your viewers or your customers or your clients or your followers how the product is used and that would you know, make them to understand the, and appreciate the functionality of the product you are selling to them. Then step number three is you have to test your products and find a winning ad. All right. So the name of the game is keep testing and testing and testing until you find what works. Okay. Now the strategy is to create one campaign group and inside that one campaign group, you can have some uh, up to like five ads in that campaign group. Then you start testing with like $50 spread across okay that five ad groups okay so each you may allocate like $10 for each of the ads okay 
and like i said you also have to make sure that your pixel is connected with your store and then you also ensure that when you're running ads that you are not running ads to other platforms that is not tiktok because on tiktok you may have other platforms like um ping and so many other platforms that your ads can actually show so when you're going to be selecting um, your ad, your placement for your ads you make sure you select tiktok of course if you go back to the video i referred to in this channel okay i covered all of that step by step so if i try to do that in this video it's going to make this video very cumbersome and very long and uninteractive and uninteresting so make sure you go back to that video to watch exactly how to set up tiktok ads and how to run tiktok ads okay and then you also want to have at least five to ten creatives so the reason why you have to have up to five to ten creatives is so you can alternate them and find out which of them actually performs better than the other all right now step number four is that you're going to be analyzing your ads and while you're analyzing your ads you're going to be looking at for some metrics you want to know if your ads is doing well or if your ads is doing poorly so there are some good metrics to look out for when you're running ads on tiktok now the first good metric to look out for is are you actually generating sales are you making profits or at what cases are you reaching your break-even points okay so if you're generating profits that means you are having good metrics right now you also want to check your cost per click your cost per click should be somewhere less than 50 cents okay so if your cost per click is somewhere around 90 cents that means you're probably paying too much for the ads okay and then your cost per thousand your cpm should be somewhere less than five dollars okay and then your return on ad spend should be a minimum of two times all right so if you're spending five dollars you should make at least ten dollars back okay if you have more than one purchase in your first day of running ads it's also a sign that shows uh, that your ad is performing well so it's a good metrics to watch out for also on the other hand you can actually have bad metrics so if on the first day or the second day you start running your ads and you spent almost fifty dollar or hundred dollar and you don't have sales it means that product is not doing well or your ads is not doing well you need to fix something or you just have to kill that ad okay then if you have made only one sale and probably that sale is unprofitable like you're not even up to your break-even points and you've not even made any profit from that so you might consider killing that ad campaign if you're having high cpc like that is high cost per click and it's over 50 cents that means you're actually paying too much and you need to consider the ad campaign if something is going wrong or if you need to kill it and if you're having high cpm cost per thousand way over five dollars then is a sign of a bad matrix and if your click-through rate is very poor it means that your audience or your viewers are likely not interested in the products you are trying to promote to them all right now the step number five on this roadmap is to scale up your winning ads campaign so if you find what is working what you need to do is to scale up and how you scale up is to either increase your budget or increase the number of ads you are running okay for example if you are spending 50 dollars in a day you can start increasing your budget gradually from 50 dollars to 100 dollars to 200 dollars and even up to 500 dollars every day and that will help you to scale your campaign and even make more sales all right all right guys so that's how i'm going to wrap up this video and i hope you guys found some value with what i shared with you guys and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please make sure to subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up once this video gets up to 100 likes like i said i'm going to be dropping this file for you guys in the description of the video and i'm also going to drop it in the comment section all right guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my subsequent videos bye bye